episode of Palisade Radio. I'm your host, Karim Mutlu. I'm coming live from Jekyll Island at the 2019 Palisade Hard Asset Conference. And today I have Git Kirsten from Cellside Corp. How are you today, Git? Thank you so much for having me. I'm well. Thank you. Let's begin by talking about your company. You just gave a keynote speech at the conference. Let's get an overview of what you're actually doing. I understand you're targeting head and neck cancer. Is that correct? That's correct. So imagine you go to the dentist and the dentist finds a tumor in your mouth and they then proceed to cut half of your jaw out or cut your tongue out. That's the kind of tumor we have. uh, We're dealing with head and neck cancer. And I understand at the moment you have phase three trial partners. So when will the phase three study actually end? Well, uh, we have major partners. The NIH, the National Institutes of Health, is doing genetic molecular testing as part of the phase three. We have Teva Pharmaceuticals as a partner. We have Orient Your Pharma out of the Far East as a partner. We have uh, the company, one of the companies running the study has invested $12 million where they will get their money back only if the study is successful. So we have a lot of good partners. We have, however, on purpose retained the key marketing rights. Now, when will the study end? It's a good question because it's been an eight-year study. This is the largest study ever done in head and neck cancer, which is a huge cancer by itself. The last approval in head and neck cancer was, in, in, in our indication, was 60 years ago. So there's great unmet medical need. Everyone else will be, de- every other patient will be dead in, in about three years. So we have to wait for 298 events. That means deaths to occur. And what's interesting about it, they should already have occurred by our calculations. So it could be in a few months. It could be six months, nine months. It shouldn't be too far off because it really is much, much further off. You have to wonder about the ethics of continuing the study. Because uh, if our drug really works so much better, then shouldn't you stop the study early? Can you give us an overview of the current market in terms of treating cancer? What drugs are available or is there anything like the product you're developing out there at the moment? So our principle is that your immune system holds the key to your health. We believe the immune system is an important part of your ability to fight cancer. People didn't used to believe it, but now they believe it. But all of the current uh, cancer treatments, uh, the cancer immunotherapy treatments are being used uh, after surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. So in head and neck cancer, there's Keytruda, Optivo, things you you read about in the newspaper, but they cannot be used before surgery. Doesn't it make more sense to boost your immune system to fight the cancer while it's still healthy because after re- surgery, radiation, chemo, it's no longer healthy. So what catalysts going forward for the company do you have for the next, say, 12 months? Well, we're really waiting for one major catalyst. We're not in the middle of something. We're at the end of an eight-year clinical trial where we have to wait for 298 people to die to see if there's a survival benefit in a statistically significant manner. I know it sounds terrible, but that's the hoop I have to jump through. So uh, we're blinded to the exact data. We just know that we had expected those 298 deaths already. And the fact that they're not occurring is one of the very good signs that we think the study is successful. So we think it has a good chance of occurring this year. And if it takes longer, it really makes no sense to continue the study. But we'll have to see. Very good. So what would you say to potential investors looking at your company? Um, How would you describe what you're doing at the moment and why they should invest? Well, it's actually very simple. There is the aspect of trying to help humanity. We seek to use a healthy immune system to make the first cancer treatment more successful. If we conquer the cancer completely on the first treatment, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't become a terminal cancer patient. So the one who only cares about money, it's very simple. We have a $200 million market cap. Any successful cancer drug that improves overall survival, because most of them don't, they always has sold between five and twelve billion dollars, many of them even before FDA approval. So two hundred million right now, five to twelve billion dollars for a successful. We think the indications are we will be successful. I just bought stock at a higher price last week. Others in the company did also. You know, people have to place their bets. Excellent. Okay, as we begin to wrap up the show, is there anything else you'd like to share with us today in Jackal Island? It's been a wonderful conference. The, everybody's very interested, even the resource people, because they're all worried about cancer too and cancer in their family. So the reception has been wonderful. Thank you.
think you understand the junior mining sector and you think that the participants in the mining sector, junior mining sector, are good people and kind people, hit the bit. How violent that term could be, it actually could be quite violent. Uh, it could be a rip your face off uh, uranium rally. And the world is always going to need raw material. It's going to need copper and gold and nickel and so forth. Totally destabilized. Hey, hey, troll, did you hear what's going on in Yemen?